Hi there, my name's Rebecca and if you're watching this, you're joining the Caversham Baptist Church Boxing Day service. Today, most of all our content comes from Compassion. Now, Compassion is an organisation helping children across the world. You're going to see a lot of them in the service today. There's also some traditional carols led by some Christian uh, worship leaders and musicians and a few surprises, I think. Um, so look out for those. Now, it's Christmas, so um, it surprises some, are surprises something we look forward to having at Christmas? Yes, maybe, with presents surprising us, what's in the present. But I also think that um, what we like about Christmas is it's familiar. It's something we're used to. We have certain expectations of what Christmas is, is like. And actually, when you watch the service today, you're going to see those two things combined. A lot of the story is very familiar, but also imagine that this is the first time you've heard this story and hearing it uh, told in a new way, which you will see, is a good way to, to remember that actually it's full of really big surprises. So really hope you enjoy the service today. Estrella de 
Luke chapter 1, 30 up to 31 said, But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid. Mary, you have found favor with God. You will, you will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. Lucas 2, 7 Y dio a luz a su hijo primogénito y la envolvió en pañales y la acostó en un pesebre porque no había lugar para ellos en el mesón. Raise away with all 
campos muy cercanos habían unos pastores que cuidaban sus ovejas por la noche. De pronto se les apareció un ángel del Señor y los llenó de luz. The Nativity Story is when Jesus was born. Mary was a girl who lived in a house. She loved God and she loved her family. She did shows at her house. One morning, an angel came to her. She was very surprised. Mary was also afraid. She had never seen an angel before. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid. You will have a newborn baby from God. You will also marry Joseph. Everyone will call the baby Jesus, son of God. He will be very important and special. When Mary told Joseph about God's baby in her tummy, He was very surprised and worried. They were not married yet. Joseph wanted to protect Mary and her baby even though he was surprised. At that time, somebody important was counting how many people lived in each town. Both Mary and Joseph had to travel far away to a place called Bethlehem. They had to travel on a donkey. It was hard and dusty and long. Traveling on a donkey is uncomfortable when you are pregnant. When they got to the town called Bethlehem, they couldn't find a room to stay in. Mary and Joseph knocked in lots of doors, but every hotel was full. When they knocked on the last door they were going to knock on, they said, I am sorry, there is no room in here. But there is some room in the stable. You can walk down the street and turn right. There you will find the stable. Mary had to give birth all by herself. She was very brave. I think Joseph held her hand. When baby Jesus was born, they put him in the warm stable and wrapped him in cloth. At the same time, There were three shepherds watching over animals in the field. Suddenly, they also saw an angel in the sky. That was scary because they had also never seen an angel. The angel said, Do not be afraid. God's son was born in the stable in Bethlehem. He will bring great joy. Follow me and come meet baby Jesus. The shepherds were excited and started running to find this special baby. They somehow knew that Jesus was very important. Maybe it was because they had never seen real angels before. Meanwhile, there were three wise men. I think wise men are kind of like kings. They also learned about baby Jesus 
being born. Together, they followed a star in the east and that was brighter than all the stars. They had to travel and travel and travel. Finally, they found Jesus and they brought very special gifts. Each wise man brought a gift to the baby. Once the shepherds and the wise men found Jesus, they threw a huge party. Everyone was so happy to be with baby Jesus. Even the animals seemed so excited. That night changed the world. I wish I could have been at the party, but I am glad we have Christmas to celebrate baby Jesus every year. Matthew chapter 2 verses 10 to 11 When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and meal. I love that excerpt from the Christmas story that we just had, how the wise men were filled with joy when they saw the star over the place where Jesus was born. They worshipped him and gave him gifts, the kind of gifts you would give to a king. The saviour of the world had come. An angel first announced this to shepherds on a hillside. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to the people joy to the world. This Christmas will be, I hope, very different from last Christmas, and the sound of joy will be heard ringing through churches up and down the country once again as we celebrate the King of Kings, together, in person, alongside each other. As a young girl growing up in Uganda, there wasn't a lot of joy besides being grateful for life and daily bread. There was no joy and there wasn't much hope. You see, when I was four years old, my father died of HIV AIDS. My mother was also HIV positive, raising my sister and I. We were our mother's carers and kept dropping out of school due to lack of school fees. There was no hope for a better future as we lived each day in desperation with an ailing mother who later moved in with our grandmother to help with her care. We helped with farming in the garden and fetching water and firewood. We didn't attend church and we didn't have that life transforming relationship with Jesus. And so things like Christmas and the story of God sending his only son to be with us was lost on my family. This doesn't mean we did not celebrate Christmas. My mom and grandmother made it an effort to make it special. Like rice and chicken were prepared for the day, it's the only day we ate chicken in the year. The aid support organization that gave mom medication sometimes gave out food relief for Christmas, which meant mom could spare some money for a new dress for me and my sister. But we never knew the real joy of Christmas. One day when I was seven years old, my life changed and not only my life, my family's too. God used a sponsor named Rachel and the church in my local community in Nakawa to speak hope and joy into my life. When I was registered on the Compassion Project, so many things began to change in my life. I was able to go to school and study and later graduated from university with an accounting degree. When I was hungry, they fed me. When I was sick, they treated me. And best of all was becoming a practicing Christian and accepting Christ as my personal savior. I was mentored into making healthy life choices and right decisions. We had all kinds of fun through the Compassion Project. But best of all, I knew that I was cared for and that I was valued and loved. 
loved not just by the compassion staff and the church, but I discovered that God loved me and that he had always loved me and would never leave me. My sponsor's letters of encouragement were a reminder of such love. 1 John 4.19 says, We love because he first loved us. My sponsor, Rachel, the compassion staff and the church family demonstrated through their time and money God's love for me. The Christmas letters and the gifts from our sponsors brought such delight and excitement. Finally, Christmas had a meaning. It ceased being just about food, but became more about God's love and hope for the future. There were Christmas parties too at the local church. How I loved those Christmas parties. We had such fun, played silly games, enjoyed great food, and of course opened our presents. But best of all, hearing the Christmas story, how Jesus, God's son, came into the world to save us and was born in a stable. Joy to the world and joy to me. I could never have imagined that today I would be happily married to Sam, a Church of England minister, raising three children, enrolled in further education and supporting those less fortunate than me. I now have the privilege of sharing the good news of Christ's birth with my own children, but I never forget to remind them to be thankful for the joy and hope it brings. My life was changed because somebody shared God's joy with me. Good news came into my broken world and made me whole. Poverty no longer had a hold on me, and because I was set free, my children will not face what I went through, and I am able to join the fight against poverty and use my voice and experience to speak up for those who cannot speak up for themselves. Today, if God has touched your heart, be a bringer of hope and joy to someone else. That smile, that hug, that word of comfort, that gift, time spent, love shown. Perhaps you could help the homeless, make up a Christmas hamper for someone in need, or even sponsor a child like Rachel sponsored me. May you this Christmas know the love of the Savior. Joy to the world. My name is Liz and I was released from poverty in Jesus' name. Let us pray. 
እግዚአብሔር አባታችንን ስለሳ ስለደረስ ከእና መሰግናለን ጌታዩ ደግሞ ለና መሰግን መተናል እግዚአብሔር ሆይ አንዴ ያልጅን ኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ወደዚህ ምድር ስለራክልና መሰግናለን ጌታዩ ለኛ ሀጥያት ለመቀጣጥ ሲል ስለተወለደልና መሰግናለን ክብርስ ከዘላለም እስከ ዘላለም ላንተ ይሁን ታባረክ እና መሰግናለን አሜን ሲኒዮር ግለዝስ በላና ሚዳት ኢፖርቱይ ሆይ ኢየሱስ ኪልም ቢያስቲ ስቲፖብሎ ግለዝስ ሰሚስ ፓድሪኖስ ያልዝ ኒነ ዘጠ ደል ሞንዶ አሜን ግራሽስ ሰኞ ፖሎ ሰረልስ ደል ሞንዶ ግራሽስ ፖልትራይ ላ ፈልሲዳት አሜን ዶውስ ኩሩ ሙሩ አቁጣ ዛዲያ ክርስማስ ና ማና ምጥላ ኩጃ ኩጣ ባዛም ዘጠ የያሰ ሰኞር ፎርቴት መፈመት ዲያ ማሰኞ ፈቢዮ ከሰያቱ ወነ መላሳቢ ዲያ ፈራሴዳ ኤላንቶ ሰኞር ፈቢዮ ሰኞር ከሰያቱ ረላም መማቢ ያሰኞ ፖላተር ኮሚሰራ ተዲዮም ናቢዳ ሰኞር ኤሎፒዮ ፓርሰ ለስቲያል ነምበል ፓራ ኤሊሳ ፕሬዛንታ ነ I also pray for the people who are having a hard time this Christmas. Please help them and let them feel your peace and love. Amen.
How still we see thee alive above thy divine dreamlessly the silent stars go by yet in the dark street shineth the everlasting light the hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight for Christ is born of Mary and gathered all above while mortals sleep the angels keep their watch of Jesus 
Isaías 9.6 Porque un niño nos ha nacido, un hijo nos ha dado, y el principado estará sobre tu hombro, y se llamará admirable consejero, Dios eterno, Padre eterno, príncipe, príncipe de paz. Well, we're coming to the end of our service this Boxing Day. Hope you enjoyed uh, the contributions from the children, uh, the really surprising uh, way they told the nativity story, and uh, the wonderful songs uh, from the musicians. As we close our service, I'm going to read a passage which you're, unexpect you're not expecting, so keeping up the theme of surprises. This is because it encourages us to think about the way God surprises us in our own life and how although we find Christmas maybe very comforting because it's something um, that we do every year and we enjoy and we like the traditions, etc., what we expect Christmas to be like, actually we should be asking God by his Holy Spirit to do new and amazing things in our life and remind us who Jesus is. So here's a, a reading from Acts, which I know you're not expecting to draw our service to a close. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire 
that separated and came to rest on each one of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Now they were staying in Jerusalem, God-fearing Jews from every nation under heaven. When they heard this sound, a crowd came together in bewilderment because each of them heard them speaking in his own language. Utterly amazed, they asked, are not all these um, men um, speaking Galileans? Then how is it that each of us hear them in our own language? Parthians, Medes and Elamites, residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontius and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and all the parts of Libya near Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs, we hear them describing the wonders of God in our own languages. Amazed and perplexed, they asked one another, what does this mean? Some, however, made fun of them and said, they have had too much wine. I hope you continue to enjoy a lovely Christmas and thanks for joining us at Cavisham Baptist Church Boxing Day service. <laughs>